Hello guys, today we are going to see about service lifetime in .NET Core. Okay, we know there are three types of service registration we can do. One is a single time, scoped and transient. Okay, we will break down this three one by one. Okay, so first we will see about single time. Okay, what will happen if you register your service in a single time? Let's see the definition. Okay, the single time service in ASP.NET Core is designed to ensure that only one instance of service will create it and chat throughout the entire lifespan of your application. Okay. So in simple terms, you can say if you register any one of your services in single time, okay, once you start that application, an instance will be created. That same instance will be maintained up to entire lifespan of your application. Okay. If you still feel complicated, let's say take a small example. Okay. Uh, you have one restaurant. Okay. Now, if you want a restaurant, what do you have to do? You have to first build the restaurant. So similarly, first we build the application. Okay. Once the restaurant is built, you can go and buy food anytime you want. The restaurant is the same okay it's the same restaurant you will go and buy food anytime you want so similar way single time once uh, service is started new instance will be created the same instance will be used until the entire lifespan of your application so in similar words until this restaurant is destroyed you can go and food buy a food anytime you want right it's the same restaurant you're going to serve a food for you okay we will see a code example for the singleton also later on. Okay, first we will see the theory part of it. Okay, so now we cover the singleton. So next thing we are going to see about scoped. Okay, so let's see the definition of it. In scope the lifetime, a new instance of a service will be created for each incoming request. Ensure that each request service its own unique instance. So in simple terms, you can say uh if request comes if request comes if the instance is created for the service the same instance will be used for that same request again and again okay uh for that also you can take a example with the restaurant itself okay you already uh, reserved a table okay so if you go for a restaurant you already reserved a table whatever the food you are going to order it will be always come to your table only okay until you finish up your lunch or breakfast or dinner so the food will be served to your same table, your booked table, correct. So similar way the scoped will work. If the request comes in, okay, the instance will create it, that same instance will be used until the entire request process is complete. Okay. In simple terms, you can say there may be a multiple tables in hotel, right? Each table will have its own instance. Okay, we will see code for this also example later on. So we will see next what is transient. Okay. Let's see the definition of transient. Okay. Uh, in case of transient lifetime, a new instance of service will be created every time if it is requested, regardless whether it is in the same request or across the different request. Okay. It's like for each time, new instance for the service will be created in transient. Okay. In simple terms, for example, you take a burger. Okay. You went for a restaurant and you already reserved a table. Okay. You are ordering burger. Okay. If you order a burger, same burger will not serve to many people, correct? Each time new burger will create, they will prepare a new burger, then they will serve it. You, you are in the same table, okay? It's like a scope, but you want a 10 burgers, okay? So there may be a 10 instance, 10 burgers will be created. It's not the same, each time it's a different. So it's like if even if it is a same request, new, rec new instance will be created in a transient. Okay, so I hope you guys will understand this theory part. We will get into the code. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, just please subscribe it. Okay, okay, I think it's enough for theory part. Let's get into the code first. If you see here, I have already created one web API project. Okay, we will see what, what I, have, I have already implemented. Okay, so I created a simple API project. You can see we have a controller. I have created one service folder. Okay. Inside the service folder, I have created a three services and a three interface for the services. So let's see one by one. Okay. So if I open the scoped, okay, scoped interface is nothing, just a simple uh, declaration to produce a gator. It's a simple method. Okay. You can see. Okay. What I done now, I implemented that in my class. Okay. Scoped service. We do the inheritance now. We inherited it. So inside the scoped service, you can see I have created a one property. It's a gator. It's an ID. Okay. Then in a constructor, okay, we know when instance is created, constructor will call you first, right? So that's why I done. I provided ID equal to new query. It's a separate uh we, we are generating the query ID simply in terms. Okay. 
so we create a new grid id and we will assign it to that id property okay then we will what we are doing now we created a separate function for it okay what this function will do now whatever the grid id set to this id we will returning it that's it okay so this kind of a similar code it's the same code i written for a three services if i take the singleton okay in singleton also you can see there is a property id in a constructor i am creating the new grid id and just assigning that i mean just returning that value as id okay this function will return the id so if i go to the transient it's it also the same thing okay one property is id one constructor to set a grid id and there is a function to return our id okay so we have a three services okay once we create a three service what we will do we will register in our program.cs you can see i registered here as a builder.service.add singleton okay singleton so i registered my singleton services interface and class and second thing is scoped okay scoped also i registered then finally a transient also i registered okay let's now go back to our controller okay i created some dummy controller as a data controller okay you can see here if you see here i created a I mean, I injected the services, okay, twice, each service as a twice, so singleton as a twice, scoped as twice, and transient as a twice, okay, the reason why I'm registering twice now, to show the difference, how the grid IDs are generating, okay, how the instance are creating, okay, I registered it in our constructor, uh, we do the dependence injection, it's the same thing, so after that, I created only one API, so the API name is like a service lifetime, okay, inside the service lifetime, I have created a one object, okay it's, it's just like a view model okay if you want to see i will show that okay in view model i have something called results what it will do now it will return our grids i just want to return this result okay so this result class will have all the properties like a singleton as one singleton two uh, scope to one scope to two transient one transient two the reason why i have twice now because in control also i'm registering it twice i just want to display that data twice okay how it's creating okay so here I simply done uh, just a string concatenation. Okay, I just added the singleton name just to identify the difference in output. Okay, in this services now, uh, for example, singleton service one, I registered it. I called the function. It's a git git sorry quit producer. Okay, it's the quit producer the function we create now. For example, let's go for singleton the quit producer. Okay, I'm just calling that function in my controller and just converting to a string because this uh, type is string property type is string so i'm just converting to string so similar way i'm assigned the value to singleton scoped and transient so you can see each time i call the different services singleton service one singleton service two scoped service one scoped service two then transient service one then transient service two okay let's run this application and we will see how our output will display how the instance are created how the grids are produced okay okay so our application is up and running so we have one api okay i'm going to hit that the service lifetime so let's go it's uh, executed okay you can see we get the result as a singleton one you can see the grid id is same even though if you are creating a two time registration i mean two time you are creating in uh, dependency injection of our data controller right but the instance is same, same good ID is passed. Okay, it's like a restaurant. Okay, the restaurant is built, like our application is built. So it will serve the same instance until the application lifecycle ends. Okay, if you see the scoped, okay, it's the same good ID here also. You can ask how it is because for each request, new instance will create. Okay, for example, this time it's, it's the same, right? Same scoped. Uh, we will come to the scoped again later on okay so we will see the transient then we'll get back to the scope so if you see transient see new instance will created for each time okay each time new instance is created that's why we have a two different grid ids okay so now get back to the scoped what i'm going to do now just copy this url and paste it in another time so this time it will goes as a another request correct so if you see this time, the single ton instance the grid created, uh, it will be same in both. You can see it's the same because single ton will serve up to your entire life cycle of your application, lifespan of your application. Okay. If you see scoped, 
it's a new id is created okay the reason why new id is created for scoped for each request new instance will be created okay but in transit each and every time new instance will be created i hope you guys understand this videos if it, if you guys feel it is a useful don't forget to subscribe and like this video